All right, so once you have finished all your recording, so you've gone through each slide and you've recorded your audio for each part, yours will be a lot bigger than mine because you'll have different a bunch of different slides for each piece of these. But once you're all done, I recommend clicking the preview button and then it'll actually play your podcast for you and you'll be able to watch it. So that way you can see what it looks like. When you're done looking at your preview, you can go up here to the X That'll take that away, and then you're ready to turn it in. So how you do that is you go to Share, and you're going to go to Publish. So here you have the title. Um, for your author, I want you to take your name away because we don't want your name. We want to make sure that we keep you private, so we're not going to put your name on here. You don't need to worry about a category, and we're going to click this off. So do you see how when I click that off, the author went away? So make sure you do that. Then you're going to go to create link. And then it's loading. So the computer is putting all of it together right now. And then it's putting it on a link. That's making a finished video podcast for you. So now here is your link. You're going to want to copy this. So click copy and then turn it into um, however your teacher wants you to turn it in. So if they're on Google Classroom, you might want to go to your Google Classroom in another tab and then you'll paste. So to paste, you can. there's two ways you can paste. You can do two finger, two finger click and then you'll see the option to paste. So you click twice, you click with your two fingers together, or you can, when you go to where you need to, to put the link in, you can do control V and that'll allow you to paste it. And if you're not sure, you can always get help. When you're all done and you pay, you've shared your link, you can exit out and then you're all done here. So if you ever are not able to finish your project in one go, so say you get started, but then you know it's recess or class is over and you need to leave, What's nice with Adobe Spark is it always saves it online for you, just like your Google stuff. So you can always leave. So maybe I need to leave here. So I'm going to go up here to home. Right. And here I am. So maybe I left, but then I came back to Adobe Spark and I logged in and I'm back on this page. You can see that your project is right here. So you can open it back up and you can keep editing it. So it's always there for you. Or maybe you thought you finished, but then you want to, you figured out how to do something or you want to add something in. You can always at make additions to it, you can always make it better. So when you're all done, just make sure you share your link with your teacher so that they have that. And that's how you do a podcast with Adobe Spark.